Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another Retro Shiz look back at the past, and today we're going all the way back to 1991 for a Happy Meal type toy, a giveaway. These were awesome. I was at a garage sale over last weekend, and lo and behold, was digging through a box they had on the driveway, and I was like, hey, I remember these things, and I thought, you know what, this would make a really cool video. So, who remembers... The Young Astronauts, right? These were promotional Happy Meal toys that were basically like paper craft in a way. Really thick cardstock, cardboard almost, that fit together and were good for showing off NASA. As a kid and growing up and wanting to go to space camp, be an astronaut, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, these were the toys to get. And there were four to collect and... Lo and behold, the garage sale had all four, so I was stoked. So you got the command module right here. What I love is, like I talk about in, oh, what was it, the most recent, like Marvel Legends Venom, where they have the Ikea-type directions. They show you how to put everything together. It's just something that's kind of lost, right? But here's the space shuttle as well. I do remember putting together each of these things, but I do remember them being incredibly loose for some reason. I remember them always falling apart. Not all of them, but let's say the space shuttle and the little other craft coming up. But this one's got like a planet in it. This The old artwork is very much reminds me of those old child's craft books that uh, you'd get from like the library or that I remember having in school reading a lot. <laughs> it's an encyclopedia of all the knowledge and everything else. But the lunar rover here was one of my favorites. Really liked it. So again, like I said, got all four to show off today. 1991, and yes, I do keep a Happy Meal in my collection for such videos as a prop. So all four, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cheeseburger Happy Meal. This is a look back at the 1991 McDonald's Happy Meal toys, the young astronauts. And of course, here they all are put together. And it creates a really vibrant set of space toys, quote unquote. Toys in the sense of it's a different type of medium. But yeah, yeah these just brought a smile to my face, putting these all together and going, like, wow. There would be many of them sitting at McDonald's, eating the meal, and then putting them together right then and there. But they're all there. And the other cool thing is that they come with all these little booklets right here so I can show them off proper. You get to see the Young Astronauts P.O. Box, all that kind of stuff, making tracks in space, create a crater. So it's like that old fun space stuff, right? Pledge card, pledge do my best, prepare for the future, yada yada, space facts on the back, that's always fun. And then like I said, yeah, I really like the old direction, step one, step two, step three, to assemble your lunar rover. And of course, here it is tires and all i remember the tires falling off all the time i'm like pushing this thing across the ground but you get to see the satellite type dish at the front and on the back side it depends on kind of how you view these you'll have like blank just color aspects of it sometimes they're only printed on one side but i don't know i think i mean as simple as it is it's a lot of fun all the details, all the colors, you can move the flag around. It's got flag articulation, right? Now it just kind of fits in between the pegs right there. The astronaut with his watch, tires, you can pull the wheels off if you want. So it's just really basic fun, but dang, it makes for an old school type toy. These, each of them come with like this black piece, which gives it semblance of articulation right so you can rotate the satellite dish you can roll it against the ground nothing spins nothing does that it's all your imagination go figure right the satellite dish do you remember this one i remember it more so because of the astronaut and then the planet he came with but you get messages from space tells you all how to send a signal if you want you got another pledge card so i hope you filled those out for back in the day space facts t wendell butler wonder what T. Wendell Butler is up to these days. Hopefully he pledged his space facts and he's doing the space thing still. But again, the satellite dish, let me just kind of pull this out right here, not to ruin anything, knock everything down. I really like, one, the differential colors, right? You got purple up top, you got purples and oranges right there. You got that black part that spins and moves everything around. And you got the NASA, USA, everything else that just stands in as the base and you get this movement right here. So again, it's very cool. You got all the McDonald's, 1991, everything else on the bottom of the satellite dish, but 
yeah, it's just something that was so cool to me back in the day. Now to have like a complete set that's just like hidden, well, near mint condition. I did open it up. This is very cool to me. All the colors of Saturn right there, all the different rings. Like I said, you know, depending on how you look at it and the angles, you only get colors and design on one side. But I like the astronauts. The astronauts were always really fun. You put them all together. You know, it's, it's quite a complete space set. Next up is the command module. This one I'll tell you all day. I do remember this one falling apart constantly. But this one yeah, stays together pretty well now. Eat like the astronauts do, right? Pledge card, yada yada. You can actually detach the pledge card if you want to put that in your wallet. <laughs> space facts. Brigadier General Charles Duke. And then again, how to put everything together. This one actually comes with two instruction manuals because it's a little bit more complicated, uh, you know, for from the other sets, but it's fairly straightforward, you know what I mean? But when you're a kid, you need you need help sometimes. I didn't need any help putting this together. Just just FYI. But yeah, this one, like I said, I always remembered the doors falling off constantly. Nothing fit. It was always very loose. But I got a good one this time. It all stays together. I love that you can see the windows. You can see all the different astronauts inside doing their thing. You got the blast off. Really cool colors. Like a painting come to life on the bottom. You know what I mean? All those different oranges and yellows. And then you slowly unfurl it. Kind of like a, like a lotus blossom. <laughs> or an um, awesome blossom from Outback Steakhouse, right? I don't know. I don't know why that reference came in. But uh, yeah, you get to see, what's cool is that you insert all the different astronauts into their chairs. You can remove them, take them out, and then you just see it in a full-on 3D model kind of thing. But again, yeah, they're all very thick cardstock, cardboard, heavy pieces of paper, if you want to go that route. And then when you're done, you can, oh, see, yeah. <laughs> This is where they, not really loose, it's it's really not loose on this one. It's all about just like putting them in the notches perfectly. So you kind of have to move the blast off effects just out a little bit. But in either case, you get them all closed together. You got the astronauts safe inside and you can blast back to the spaceship. And then finally, the one that I remember, I don't know why I remember this one being tough to put together or mine didn't fit. Something like that, but work like an astronaut. You can do the Ronald McDonald thing and put a glove on and figure out how if it's easier not to put a you know pick up pennies with a glove on or not. I don't know. Anyway, space facts. Lieutenant General Thomas Stafford right there, and you got about six steps to put all of this together. It's like a transformer, except those now have 32 steps just to transform it into vehicle mode. Right? United States, NASA. Really cool. It's. It's kind of the one where it, it's a really nice set and you do get a lot of that gorgeous artwork in it, but I don't think it's as cool as the other ones, right? It's Everything else kind of has these really cool, really nice looking space sci-fi colors to it. This one's just kind of like, yeah, here's the, here's the America spaceship thing. But I do like that this kind of peels down right there and you could put the astronaut on top and zip it around. So at least it's cool. It does something. It's not like the greatest one out of the set, but of course, you know, it's part of the set. It's a welcome addition. I like all the rockets and the fact that you, when you kind of open it up, it's like that forced perspective. Again, very paper craft, kids craft books for back in the day. And, you know, just to have some fun, you could <laughs> with now what I think of space and horror movies and everything, yeah, you could have them, you know, maybe they landed on LV-426 and they're about to, you know, find out about face huggers. Who knows? But yeah, they're smaller type toys. I mean, they're a really cool large set. It's going to take up some space. But in either case, four really cool old school McDonald's toys, toys that really got me interested in space. I remember playing with these. When you used to get McDonald's type toys, you play with them for so long and then yeah, they disappear after a while. But these ones, I remember having these for quite some time. But yeah, the toys that I really miss. So when again, when I was at that grad cell, I was looking at that box and I was like, yes, that is rad. And the fact that they were brand new, I mean, come on. You know what I mean? So colors, artwork, everything. So old school sci-fi. Love the Saturn right there. That is so cool with the stars. He's just like, yeah, chilling out in the stars. But I'm curious to know if you guys had these at all as a kid. Do you need to get them now? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything 
young astronaut McDonald's toys. Got any good stories with these things? So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, it would have been so awesome to be an astronaut, right? Just doing all these space-type things, floating around, hanging out with Saturn, and everything's fine, right? Space is not terrifying at all. <laughs> when you do, that should have been in the packet, right? <laughs> when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.